Y3Z for Revolution 91.7, and he is back. He is back. Back on, well, Revolution 91.7. Because I know you missed me. I missed me doing this. I really enjoy this. There's, there's no one, nobody quite like the Ayatollah of alternative rock and roller. I came up with that nickname all on my own. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. What's on tap for today? Nothing really. Just after this, I'm gonna go get some food because I am majorly hungry right now. But tomorrow, as we all know, is the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super Bowl. The Rams taking on the Patriots. I really don't care which team wins. I don't care which team loses. I'm, I'm, I'm not even watching it for the commercials all the way. I mean, I want to see the commercials, but I, I'm just waiting for the halftime show so I can watch that halftime heat thing on the WWE Network. A six-man tag team match featuring six of the top NXT superstars. That's pretty much the only thing I'm looking forward to with this Super Bowl weekend thing. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Other than that, I don't care about football. I really don't. Soccer's better. This has been your boy, the returning Y3Z for Revolution 91.7, reminding you that I really don't care about football. It's lame. And that is undisputed. Shock the system. And that was Get It Daddy. Oh, God. My sleeper agent. I didn't feel comfortable saying that word. I didn't. Your boy. Y3Z for Revolution 91.7. And let me tell you something right now before I give you the, the T. And by T, I mean news update. I am currently just leaning back in my chair while with the microphone right on me like that. Yep, 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 yep. And it's honestly very, very comfortable. Very comfortable indeed. Alright, so here's the real tea. As in tea, I mean information. In case you didn't know, WKU is holding a silent disco night. Yep, yep, yep. Hosted by RHA and something else. I forgot. <clears throat> it is Wednesday, February 6th, from 6 to 8 p.m. at DSU Night Class in room... I don't know. I honestly don't know, but I'm sure more information will be on about that. It says, put on the wireless headphones and a silent atmosphere inst instantly transforms into a high-energy musical performance and dance party. Oh, hosted by... Yeah, it's pretty much just R.H.A. and W.K. you saw. So yeah, there it is. Silent Disco, Wednesday, February 6th from 6 to 8 p.m. at DSU Night Class. Oh, wait, I know where that is now. It's right, it's that big hit room right in front of Red Zone. That's where it is. So there you go. This has been your boy. Y3Z for Revolution 91.7. Reminding you to head on down to the D DSU Night Class on February 6th and go have a good time with some Silent Disco. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go. Have a good time. And remember to always keep it too sweet. Ah, uh, it's me, the old. I just messed up. Your boy Y3Z for Revolution 91.7, and I'm so sorry that I messed up. I had something in my mind, but I messed up. Anyway, let me tell you a funny story that happened, I think, over Christmas break. Yeah, over Christmas break. So, long story short, I decided to give my my brother a Christmas gift for the first time because I thought to myself, you know, now that I'm 21 and as I'm getting older, I need to start thinking about people more often. And I'm like, you know what, let's go buy a Christmas gift. I bought one for him and my two cousins. My two cousins, I bought Venom on DVD. I don't know if they watched that yet, but, they haven't, if, but if they haven't watched it yet, they better watch it now. The movie's great. And I bought my brother a... Bobby Roode action figure. For those of you who don't know who Bobby Roode is, who the heck are you? The funny part is that I had it wrapped in a towel. I didn't really want him to see it, and yeah, I had it in a towel. The towel was kind of wet, and, and I couldn't wrap the gift either. I, I didn't have any time. And when I was, and I also bought a gift for my buddy. Uh, you know, I don't want to say his name over here, but he's a good, he's a good friend. I bought him a Jiren action figure. That's right, Jiren from Dragon Ball Super. You know, Jiren, who looks like a Majin character from his universe. 
I hate Jiren. I really do. Like, Jiren. But, after all those Christmas gifts I gave, I felt really good about myself. Jiren. We'll talk about that on my next break. I'll tell you something about Jiren. But until then, your boy, Y3Z, for Revolution 917, reminding you that it's not about giving. Wait, no, it's not about getting. To me, it's not even about giving or getting. It's just about the moments, the memories you create, and the moments you share. You cherish those moments and memories and good times. And then in the end, when something bad happens, you can just, you can just think about those memories you shared with your family and friends and just... Mm-hmm. Keep it too sweet. Woo! And that was Feed My Monkey by Government Cheese. And that's right, your boy, Y3Z. Full Revolution 917. See how I changed my accent all over the place like that? That song was hilarious. It was. The fact that these guys are named Government Cheese is also hilarious. My dude, like, seriously, that song, the lyrics were. Feed my monkey, he really, really wants to. Feed my monkey, he really, really needs to. <laughs> He's gotta feed his monkey. I want a pet monkey. <laughs> oh man, oh, the things I do with that pet monkey of mine. I take it to the park, and then I have it on my back, just carrying it around all day. Keep it as a pet, be a member of my family. He could be in our group. He could be in the group with the with the. Um, he could be in my friend group that I have here at college. He could be our official pet. You know, not a mascot. Pet and a best friend. You know what we call him? We wouldn't call him like a, the typical monkey name, like 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 Chimpy or or Bananas. I I I I'm pretty sure someone would call their monkey Bananas. Pretty sure they would, but we wouldn't name it two two names like that or or. Or another typical monkey name like George. We would, we would, I would name him. I would name him. I would name him. Uh, hmm. Yeah, hmm. You know what? I don't know what I named the monkey. I, I need time to process this. And I and I just realized I was gonna talk about Jiren and Dragon Ball Super with you, but I completely changed the subject thanks to the song "Feed My Monkey." <laughs> that song is great. Next break though. Next break for sure. Yo, 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 and that was somebody else by the 1975. It's your boy Y3Z for Revolution 917. And now I finally get to get to the part where I tell you how I feel about Jiren. And, and you know, also, you know, from Dragon Ball Super. So, long story short, I don't like Jiren all that much. I, I honestly hate him. He's such a show off. He truly is. The man comes over here with all the, or whatever the heck he is. All the power from all kinds of universes, all this time training as a pride trooper. I saw his backstory in the anime. Tragic backstory, and I would and I would understand why he wants to become strong. But then this dude comes over here saying, If you don't have strength, you have nothing. If you don't have strength, you can't beat me or anybody else. Dude, I if I ever saw him in person, I would honestly ask him to train me so that I would use the abilities and talents and skills and whatever else he taught me and I'd kick his butt. The dude looks like a Majin character from his universe. That's probably what he is. I mean, I mean, look at him. Just look at him. Dude comes over here beating everybody up. And just with the, within the palm of his hand, I feel like, man, what power comes from some dude just from an intense glare? You can't do that. Comes over here toying with people. They're like turning their back on him. It's over. I, I, I thought the rule was you never turn your back on, on your opponent. That's what I heard. That's what I follow. I hate Jaren. I really do. Goten's better. Your boy Y3Z for Revolution 91 7 reminding you that Goten's better. And keep it too sweet. It was just hilarious. The man crying over crust not being cut off. That's a fact of life for you. In fact, that's a fact. <laughs> Number 38, dude. I love it already. And a fact of life number 39. Here comes the real serious part. 
I don't like memes. Memes are stupid. That that everything nowadays is based off of a meme in most most people's lives. It is so so wrong. Memes are just so wrong. They're pathetic. They're not really all that funny. At least not anymore. I, I don't watch memes. I don't watch vines either. But memes, me, I'd rather watch a vine than a meme. A meme is just, oh my goodness. If you walked up to me and said something to me and it was based off of a meme, I honestly wouldn't like you for at least like five good seconds. Because apparently everybody says everything is based off of a meme now since like they first came up in like early what 2017 2018 I don't know probably even shorter than that probably 2016 it doesn't matter I'm not saying memes need to die because you know people need something to laugh at but just don't go up to me stating a meme like each and every day I don't want to hear about memes in my life I, I stay away from memes and those were just a couple of facts of life with your boy Y3Z. And as always, you need to remember that nobody does this better than the Ayatollah of alternative rock and roller. For Revolution 917, I am Y3Z. And remember to keep it too sweet.